greatest weapon of all. First step in solving any problem is recognizing there is one. It's time we started twisting. Pain isn't something we thought. All we can ever do for our heroes is remember them. And they gave up two lives. The one they were living in and the one they would have lived. They gave up everything for our country, for us. They pray for freedom and justice. Some veterans not getting the timely care that they need. Less than 1% of Americans serving in uniform. Good news is, is that in recent years, we've made historic investments to boost the VA budget. What is it? Why should we care? We should care about press freedom because... Because we were informed. In democratic societies, free, diverse, and pluralist media enable public debates and are essential checks You don't look status. Let's discuss. Uh, hi guys, welcome to Wet Wet Podcast, a new episode, uh, Flat Feet. Uh, if it's your first time listening, then thanks for coming. So, Flat Feet, or Pes Planus, uh, often referred to as a Flat Feet, is a common foot uh, deformity in which uh, the arch of the foot is flattened to the point where it touches the ground, or nearly touches the ground. Ligaments and tenders, tendons uh, from the lower leg and the foot uh, form the arches. And uh, when these tendons do, do not pull properly, the foot has little or no arch, uh, resulting in uh, flat feet. So let's go into the topic. Most of the time, those with flat feet do not experience severe symptoms and treatment is not always necessary. However, those with more severe cases of flat feet may experience symptoms such as feet tiring out easy, arches or pains in the areas of the arches or heels, uh, foot swelling, difficulty performing certain foot movements such as standing on your toes, leg and back pain. If you are experiencing symptoms of flat feet, it is important to seek medical attention as having the condition may increase the risk of injury or pain in the uh, musculoskeletal system particularly the lower limbs and lumbar spine. Symptoms of flat feet can vary greatly from case to case. So what causes uh, flat feet? Flat feet among veterans can be caused by a variety of factors. Sometimes a veteran's service can cause them to develop flat feet, where, whereas others may have had their condition aggravated by service. Common causes and risk factors for developing flat feet include uh, foot abnormality uh, present at birth, torn or stretched tendons, inflammation or damage to the posterior tibial tendon which runs from the lower leg down to the ankle and to the middle of the arch of the foot, dislocated or broken bones in the legs or feet, health condi conditions for ex uh, instance rheumatoid arthritis. arthritis nerve damage such as from peripheral neuropathy. Those who are obese are also at an increased risk of developing uh, pes planus. Partaking in frequent high impact physical activity like military training may also lead to the development of flat feet. So how does VA rate uh, flat feet? The Department of Veterans Affairs rates veterans with flat feet under 38 CFR 4.17a under the diagnostic code 5276. Veterans can be rated between 0 and 50% on a scale of mild to pronounced for flat feet. The rating schedule is as follows. For pronounced, if a veteran experiences marked pronation inward displacement of the art of the Achilles tendon on manipulation with spasms and severe tenderness of the plantar surfaces of the feet, they may receive the highest rating for flat feet in the condition if the condition is not helped by shoe supports and both feet are affected. Veterans with pronounced bilateral flat feet are rated at 50%. Veterans with pronounced unlateral flat feet are rated at 30%, so if you have one foot and not the other. Severe, if medical evidence shows a clear deformity of the veteran's foot, there is pain upon use or manipulation, swelling occurs on use, and characteristic uh, calluses exist, a veteran can receive the next highest rating for the pest planus. Veterans with severe bilateral flat feet can receive a disability rating of 30%. Veterans with severe flat feet with only one foot really being severe will be rated at 20%.
moderate. If a veteran veteran's weight bearing line is over the big toe rather than spread across the entire foot, there is an inward bowing of the Achilles tendon and pain on manipulation or use of the foot. He or she may be granted 10%, whether the condition is bilateral or not. Mild veterans with flat feet who are able to find relief from their symptoms using arch supports are considered to have mild, non-compensationable condition and be rated at 0%. How to get an uh, AVA disability rating for flat feet and plantar fasciitis? If you have yet to claim VA disability for flat feet and plantar fasciitis, you should do so without delay. Both of these conditions can be debilitating and cause pain in other areas such as knees, back, and legs. To be successful claiming a VA disability for flat feet and or plantar fasciitis, you will need to prove that the, your condition is a result of activities you underwent while in service. Here are the three things that can help you improving this and gaining compensation. Number one, current diagnosis. Make sure you are diagnosed with the condition you are claiming. Number two, record of an in-service event or aggravation. So if you have military records to back you up and you have a current medical record showing your diagnosis, you should have good odds. And number three, the medical ne nexus or link between the in-service event and the current disability. At first, it seems almost impossible to provide documented proof that something like flat feet or plantar fasciitis was caused during service. However, if you go back, there might be a paper trail that ties your affliction to service-related activities. This includes things like a request for different boots to be issued, requests for insoles or inserts. You might have even medical records of treatment for pest plantus or plantar fasciitis while in service. And you'll notice that too in some of your military records, they'll circle it, but they won't necessarily tell you. Because if you're not complaining, then it's not a big deal, but they'll circle the fact that you do have it. So look into your military medical records because you will see that a lot. If the VA deems that there is some suggestion of a link between your current disability and time in service, they will order a compensation and pension exam during, and during this, a VA doctor will assess your foot trouble and assign you a rating. So these are those outside doctors that we all have fun going to. After that is finished, it is important that you request a copy of the CMP examination. If the VA doctor makes an incorrect analysis, you are free to contest this in which case a copy of the CMP examination will certainly be helpful in helping you with that argument of arg that the doctor made an error. So how uh, foot pain impacts uh, your overall compensation? Your VA disability rating for foot pain from pest planus or plantar fasciitis can affect your overall disability rating and compensation in a number of ways. For example, it may be that your condition is a secondary service connection connected disability. If so, the rating you receive for this will impact your existed rating. What's more, if you do not have a 100% disability rating but are unable to work because of your foot condition, you may be entitled to a total disability based on individual unemployability. If you apply and this is granted to you, you will be compensated at the 100% level. Lastly, if your foot pain VA disability is so bad that you have effectively lost the use of them, you may qualify for the loss of use with the VA. If this goes through, you'll be uh, eligible to receive an additional special monthly compensation that goes above the normal 100% rate. Yeah, guys, uh, that's it for today's podcast. So, and as always, you have a book, a great movie, or stuff to do you would like to recommend? Yeah, so because of this whole fun year that we're all enjoying, you guys should check out the South Park Pandemic Special. Seriously funny, seriously on point with damn near everything we've been dealing with. So if you want to laugh about something at least, then check out South Park. And a uh, quote or words of wisdom of the day. I really believe this one. This is a good one. Uh, ideas without actions are worthless. Harvey McKay. That's it, folks. Thank you for listening. Until next time, over and out. Thank you.